guys today i have for you this really fun creative colorful uh, valentine's day look it is a bit out there for people i would probably wear this myself on valentine's day because i'm the kind of person that i'd wear this sort of makeup but i just thought i'd do something fun i thought i might do a couple of videos maybe like a dark smoky one more of a neutral one and then i've done a fun colorful play one today if this is a look you'd like to see me recreate and maybe recreate yourself then please continue watching so first i'm going to start out with soft ochre paint put by mac which is why you always always use with any eye look i'm just going to be applying that to my upper and lower lid with my finger i'm going to be using the Too faced palette um and it's a semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and i'm going to be taking this color called nougat it's not nougat it's nugget and I'm going to be buffing that into my crease as a transition colour. I'm taking this hot bright pink called Savage from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and also buffing that into my crease to the intensity that I want to go for. Buffy buff buff. The main style of the show is this colour called Slow Burn and I'm taking this on a more of a denser fluffy brush and applying that heavily to my inner and outer corner as well as buffing it into the colour Savage. I kind of wanted red and pink to be my main colours because that's the colours of love. Just really buffing it in and blending it really nicely. I actually really like the contrast with any eye look I do with my blue eyebrow. Not so much with my pink. I always feel like my blue and purple eyebrow goes way better but who knows. I'm going to have a video on how I do those soon as well. So I get asked a lot about them. I'm just taking the more of a pencil brush and buffing really into those small and hard to reach places as well as getting under my eye. Most of the brushes I use are either MAC or from the Urban Decay palettes because I love the Urban Decay brushes. Now taking the 221 brush by MAC, which is a really nice um, fluffy brush that's kind of small, I'm going to go back into Savage and just diffuse that edge of Slow Burn. Just so it has a nice gradient between your skin and the bright colours. And it doesn't look like a block colour. Transition colours are so important with eye looks. I'm going to be taking this really lovely uh, flat brush and I'm going to begin by creating the love heart in the centre of my lip. I am using Pro Long My Concealer and this step can be a little tricky. As you can see, as soon as I moved my eye it just creased. But that just means I had to make the heart even bigger in a way. But you'll kind of get used to it. I'll list this the name of this brush um, in the description bar down below because if you do cut creases or any lip looks it's so good. It's like the best brush ever. Now because I kind of missed a little bit of those red areas around the heart, I'm just taking the pencil brush with slow burn and just kind of getting into those little areas I kind of didn't have any eyeshadow where I've put the heart. And don't worry because you can go back in and tidy up the heart with a bit of concealer if you do overlap the shadow too much. I'm taking this colour called Pink Sugar also by that semi um, sweet chocolate bar palette and I'm just going to be pressing this into the heart for a nice little shimmer. Just kind of sets it in place as well. I'm going to use this on my brow bone and in my inner corner just using my finger. I did also apply Kitmus pigment on the heart but I feel like it transferred too much so I wouldn't do that step. I'm applying feline pencil to my waterline before then diffusing it out with blackout eyeshadow by Urban Decay which is just a black eyeshadow. I always set my waterline and just keep it in all day. Just going to tidy up that eye, curl my lashes and then I'm using the In Extreme Mascara by MAC which is a lovely building one. I'm not going to be using any lashes because I don't want to hide the heart and make it just look weird. So I'm just using mascara. This is a really nice thickening one. For cheeks I'm applying my usual matte bronze which I literally can't live without. I just sculpt it. But it's quite warm on camera here but it is a really nice neutral one. And I'm going to be trying Melba blush. I've just started using blush I don't usually but this is a really nice neutral one that goes with most looks. And then I'm using this bourgeois Paris eyeshadow in number three. It's just a nice gold colour as a highlighter. It's really pretty. I'm going to layer it. The liquid lip I'm going to be using is one by MAC. This is one of the nude colours called Burnt Spice. It's such a nice nude. It's quite pinky in person but it looks very brown on here but just because my lighting is really rubbish I need to sort it out. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and get better with that and buy some new lights this year. Just bear with me. Now that I've got my foundation on and everything as well, I kind of probably have taken a bit away from under my eye. So I'm just going back with my 221 and just buffing in some of that savage pink colour. And there we go, there's the look. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. It is really cool to try and be adventurous out there. Be yourself always and have a great Valentine's Day if you are doing something. See you in my next one, boy.